All right, guys, this is the ballast pump install video. Here we go. All right, so we're out here on the boat. It's like 60 degrees. It's been a horrible freaking spring, but it's all gonna change because next week it's supposed to be in the 80s all week, no more rain. So I need to get this ballast pump video done. I need to get the ballast pumps installed. So I'm gonna give you an overview of my setup and what I plan to do. So first, my bag locations. Throwing up in there is a 750 pound bag. Besides each engine bay, we have a 400 there and a 400 there. And then also I have the 750 on the back, the transom bag. That is still gonna use a balance pump. I mean a throw over pump. It's actually gonna use two and that's gonna be in another video. Quick, I mean this thing's gonna fill instantly. So what I gotta do is I gotta plumb everything. Every bag is gonna have a fill at the bottom and a drain. The fill and the drain will be the same. The vent at the top, so I can vent the bags. Let's go to the outside of the boat and I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put everything. All right, so we're coming here to the side of the boat. And what we're going to do is we are using these vent tubes. These are these uh, through-haul fittings. These are from Wake Makers. We got the crumb. These, these look prime. These I think are the exact same ones they use on the Malibu. So what we're gonna do is I got three. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> I got three. Oh, my hand claw. I got three. Three bags to vent. So up here, below the rub, the rub rail, I'm gonna have three of these. One, two, three. That's gonna be my vent. As the bags fill up, the water is gonna get pushed through the vents and out here. And that's gonna be my indication. Water coming out of here is gonna tell me that my bag is full. Now I haven't decided yet, and we're gonna figure that out at the end of the video. My drain, I'm either gonna put two of them back here because this is towards the engine bay, proximity to the pump and have two of these because <clears throat> I only have two pumps right now for my drains. Or I might just run all of them in a line right up front. And the reason I choose this location right here is because, is because I have access to it. And I'll show you, I'll show you why I'm gonna do it that way. Alrighty, so inside here, this is where I'm going to go. Now, the good thing is I have a little bit of a reference. I have my anchor locker drain right there. These little damper bags, do these things work awesome. Side note, keeping moisture off your amps because they're metal. So the good thing is I have a couple of indications. I got this right here. This is my anchor locker drain, so I can see it from the outside. What I plan on doing is going right up here. And that way I can run all my hoses down there. So, that's kind of why I chose this location. Plus, when I'm filling, I will be able to look and see if everything's done. I'll actually be able to hear the water coming out. And again, all the lines are going to come through here, all the vent lines, and then up through that mess. And bada bing bada boom that is the plan that is absolutely the plan now i said i had two pumps but i got three bags technically i got four one's on the transom but that's going to have its own pump just that's just what we're going to do so what i'm going to do for these pumps is i'm going to have a valve on my side sacks meaning that one next to the engine bay over there and that one down there if I'm surfing, if I want to surf regular or goofy, what I'll do is I will just have a valve that I can turn on and off. So essentially I will have one pump and I'll show you the pumps. I will have one pump, boom, that'll do the engine sacks there and there. And I'll use a valve to control if I want one or the other and to fill and drain one or the other. 
Both of those are 400 pounds. And then I have another one, which is gonna do the center locker sack. So if I need to fill all of these up, they're gonna fill at the same time. Now, if I'm just filling, if I'm just surfing and not wakeboarding, I'm just filling this side up and not that, well then I can shut one off and go from there. I'm gonna have to put some through hole fittings in to uh, get the fresh water in. And then I'll show you how I do the drain too. But my plan to mount these pumps is gonna be in the neighborhood of over here next to the motor. And again, the reason for choosing this side is because this is the side that I'm gonna have my drains on. Now, I talked to wake makers and asked them about these pumps, asked them a ton of questions. They say if you want these pumps to last, you just gotta keep them dry. They say you wanna mount them regularly, just straight up and down like that. And if you do that, each pump's got its own intake, they'll last a long time. So, now I'm gonna show you where we're going to do the intakes at. Okay, we're here at the bottom. My goal is to put both intakes on the bottom here. One here, one there. It's below the water line. I could even, I could even get it to about, probably about right here or right here. I think it looks better if I do it underneath there. We'll see when the time comes, but that's the plan. And then, um, and that's it. So to do this, I'm going to get good access through this. Oh, look at that. Look at that awesome freaking brand new looking swim platform. It's like someone rebuilt it. Holy shit. I'm gonna take my tray out. Um, I have a video too if you have a tray that's not sealing very well. If you see all these little daubs, these little, these little sealant things, um, I actually ended up moving my screws because they just didn't get a good bite. I got tons of videos, let me tell you. So I'm gonna take this out and then I'll take the mufflers out. So, this is a whole lot of, this is a whole lot of work that I gotta do here. And it just sucks that we've had a shitty spring. I really haven't had a chance to work on this thing um, other than fixing it. Um, so, this video is gonna be in a bunch of parts, how I'm gonna run everything, and just stay tuned. So this is how my system is gonna be set up. This is how I'm gonna drain, fill, and vent everything. So I get the bags filled all the way with water, and sucked all the way dry, collapsed. So, this is not the scale. All right, so what we're gonna have here, this is, what's my, this is my fresh water intake right here. When I go to fill the bags, water's gonna get sucked up through this one-way check valve, meaning water can go this way, but it can't go backwards. It's gonna go through this T into this pump. And then this is the valve I was talking about for the side sacks so I can control if I want it to fill or not. And then this is my bag right here. So it's gonna be filling this bag up. As it's filling this bag up, this is the vent that'll be on the top. Air will then be venting out through the vent on the side of the boat. Well, Jeff, if you're sucking water in, this is my drain. How's it not gonna suck air in? Well, I'm gonna have a one-way check valve. So as it's sucking water in this way, water cannot go this way through this valve. So the bag's filled with water, everything's good to go. Now I wanna drain all the water out. Flip the pump on in reverse. Water starts getting drawn out. Since there's a check valve on the vent side here, air cannot suck itself back in. So it's gonna start collapsing this bag down. The water's coming out and because there's a check valve here, the water cannot go this way. So it is then forced out topside. And this is what I plan on doing. Okay, Jeff, well, why, why, don't, you just, why don't you just not use this T and just have it come uh, straight out through your freshwater intake. I could do that. Problem is, I won't know when this bag is done emptying. Now I could buy a timer, which is money, and it times it. This is factory kind of on how, I believe the Yamahas are done from the factory. 
and timers get messed up, water gets left in. It's not a big fan of it. I, I don't mind the additional work in order to put a, um, to drill, I'm already drilling a bunch of holes in this boat anyway. So to have, an, to have this, to have this drain out the side of the boat, once water stops coming out, then I know the bag is collapsed, then I can shut this off and it's not running dry for a long time. So that's how I'm gonna do every bag. Of course, the center locker bag will not have a valve on it. If I decide that I wanna piggyback into that bag later on, I could. Um, I could also put a T on it if I wanted to run like a bow bag, like under the bow seats. I could do the same thing, still just use two pumps. I just have to use a valve to shut the bags on and off, which isn't a big deal. Um, the plan is to get another pump, but you know, money, money, money. So that in a nutshell is how I plan on doing this. So um, that's it. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to start to get all the vent lines done. So this is just the overview video. Um, the next video will be running the vent lines, drilling the holes to get the vents through the hull. Get that done first. That's number one. And that's it. So I don't think I've forgotten anything. And stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.